A final ruling on an application to increase tolls at the Eastern Harbor Tunnel. The tunnel company went for arbitration and now the arbitrator has dismissed the toll increase application. The government says it's pleased with the decision. Jessica Gable has more details. Just over two years ago, the new Hong Kong Tunnel Company applied for toll hikes of between 38 and 42 percent at its Eastern Harbor Tunnel. The company argued that its internal rate of return fell short of the 15 to 17 percent range, which an arbitrator in 1997 considered to be a reasonable but not excessive remuneration to the company. Under the proposed increases, private cars would be charged $35 instead of the current toll of $25 each time they pass through the tunnel. The toll for double-decker buses would go up from the present $75 to $105. The executive council rejected the toll hike application in June last year. The authorities said that even without a toll increase, the tunnel company's internal rate of return would still compare favorably with other tunnel projects in Hong Kong that were constructed under the build-operate-transfer arrangement. The Eastern Harbor Tunnel operator went for arbitration. The arbitrator has now ruled against the toll hike application. Under Secretary for Transport and Housing, Yao Xing Mu welcomes the decision. He says road users will not have to put up with higher tolls. Drivers we talked to were glad they won't have to pay more. This one says truck drivers like him already have to pay $38 to use the Eastern Harbor Tunnel. He would rather see a higher toll at the Cross Harbor Tunnel, so the traffic flow at the three Cross Harbor Tunnels can be evened out. The Eastern Harbor Tunnel opened to traffic in 1989, and the company that built it is still managing its operations. But the franchise ends in 2016, and the tunnel will come under the government's management after that. The tunnel company company has put up the toll twice since the opening of the tunnel. An average of more than 70,000 vehicles pass through the Eastern Harbor Tunnel every day. That's considerably less than the more popular Cross Harbor Tunnel. Jessica Gable, TVB News.